Philip Daniels, the former Seattle Seahawk. He'll go at the defensive end position. Brian Erlacher leads the team in tackles, but he's been very quiet. Not the same guy we've seen in the past. Charles Tillman, one of the three rookies that will start for the defense. He'll be at the right cornerback position. You know, Philip Daniels, you mentioned the ex-Seahawk, is definitely playing the best up front of those defensive line. And look at the third down here. Seattle, what they've done versus that Bears defense. They've been for it. Third and one. Hasselbeck in trouble. Broken up very nicely by the rookie Joe Odom, the sixth-round pick out of Purdue. Good job here defensively. First of all, Brian Erlacher, who you'll see here, he'll get out and get the secondary contain on Matt Hasselbeck. And then Odom just does a terrific job in pass coverage in front of Corin Robinson. Almost gets that one picked off. Good job there, Erlacher, forcing him to throw that football. Good defensive play. No matter how you do it, as long as you get it done. Minnesota having an outstanding start. Second and 14 after the fumble. Chandler to throw. Inside, it's complete to Dez White. And this offense, well, there's some changes going on all over the place as you look at Chandler's numbers. Chandler getting his first start of the year. Olin Krutz, the solid veteran, the former Washington Husky. Former Pro Bowler, too. This guy's a good player. Adrian Peterson, as we mentioned, taking the place of Anthony Thomas. You won't see Marty Booker. He's out with a sprained ankle. Try and hand him here. He'll be coming out of the backfield. 83 here. Watch him get into the hole, and you'll see 55 flash in from the left side of the screen. Boom! Right there on Ryan Hannum. And Hannum goes down, and again, they had to come pick him up, and he walked off the field very, very slowly. There he is sitting down on the bench. Lining up. And this is the kind of stuff that's been driving Mike Holmgren crazy. Play clock down to five. They get it off. He's looking up the field. No place to go. Hasselbeck will go down. Sacked by the Bears. Michael Haynes, the first-round draft pick out of Penn State, comes up big. Well, this play was lost from the start. Hasselbeck, everybody confused. He was looking outside to Corin Robinson, who's tied up there with Charles Tillman. Actually, both of those guys got a hold of each other. No one opened downfield. Now he's got to just tuck and run. And as you said, Michael Haynes comes over and gets the sack. Play. Second down and 11. Seahawks bring up an eight-man front. Go back. Peterson with the catch. Rounded up immediately by Marcus Trufant, the rookie out of Washington State, the local product from nearby Tacoma. That these kids can be pretty good. We call it Ray Ball because of the defensive coordinator, Ray Rhodes. He's got him flying and hitting. Here comes the pressure inside. It's caught. David Terrell, and Terrell has a bare first down. 13 yards on the pickup. And here's what Chris Chandler can do for you. It's his quick release as David Terrell is going to come out and just get down the seam. The quick post there. But it's Chandler who's able to get rid of the football under duress with the blitz in his face. He's got the quick release. Good read there on the blitz coming from Anthony Simmons. And Chandler finds this guy for a first down. First and 10 ball on the 38-yard line. The quick opener to Dez White. Dez has some room, and look at the stiff arm. And Chandler is in because Cordell Stewart, as we got a flag down, 15-yard penalty against the Seahawks. That moves the ball up to the 41-yard line. Excuse me, to the 39-yard line. Peterson. And Peterson is, we talked to him yesterday. He was excited about coming out here today, getting his first NFL start. And he'll go from 50 yards out. What? Is it going to stay straight? And it does. So, Paul Edinger, the sixth round pick in 2000 out of Michigan State, puts the Bears up early here. Again, 62 total yards for Max Strong. Best day for him since 95. A pickup of two by Alexander, second and eight. Hasselbeck took a shot. Flags are out. It's going to be that pass one. interference from Mike Green. Brian Erlacher came around the corner and laid wood. Well beyond the five-yard chuck zone. And then here's the hit on Matt Hasselbeck. And here's what you got to do. You can get Hasselbeck rattled. He's shown that in the past. 
Good job there from Erlacher coming around the edge to get a good hit. Alexander in motion. A quick toss to Strong. Max Strong is out. The ball is out. Was he down? Let's see what they call. Sutton has become one of the featured running backs here in Seattle. And he should, as well as he ran last week. You see him here taking it out on the edge. Ground causes the fumble right there. Can't do that. And the ref gets it right. Dead football. Erlacher was the one that tripped him up. And you can see right there that ball is out. No, he's not content in that area. First and ten bears. That's Lyman coming out of the backfield. They'll throw to Lyman, and Lyman will turn it upfield for a nice pickup. He's across the 50 before he's tackled by Sean Springs. Pritchett. And Pritchett gashes the Seahawks inside. He's down inside the 40-yard line. Let's go to Los Angeles and James. First and 10, the handoff. Alexander. And he got very little. And going back to this Seahawks secondary, make fun. sure the dance floor is totally empty when you do that one. Or maybe packed so no one sees uh, it. They may be smurfing <laughs> next, Ron. Terrence Metcalf checks in at the right guard position to Chris Valerio. Let's head down to Los Angeles and check in with second down and five for the Bears. Pick up a four by Peterson. Peterson again. And Peterson now getting his groove on. He's out close to the 40-yard line. Finally brought down by Sean Springs. Good block up front by Steve Edwards. He's going to be right here. But watch what watch what Adrian Peterson does. He's north and south. Edwards gets up and makes the hit, but it's north and south for Adrian Peterson. And Dick Duran said that's what they like about this kid. He's got terrific balance, but there's not a lot of dancing. He gets up in the hole and takes it north and south behind that huge offensive line. Peterson saw action in four games last year. The last four, and now he's getting his first start today. Richard in front of him. He'll get the handoff again. He's got a lane again. Does a spin. He's close to the first down. And you can tell this is exactly what Chicago wants to do. I talked about it in the open. Adrian Peterson, the most important element to this team offensively to run the ball. Gets a great block, nice block. by Stanley Pritchett on Chad Brown. Nice to see Chad Brown back in the game. But And then a good push-out block there by Mike Gandy. A huge hole there for Peterson, and he squirts up inside for about nine yards. Picked up nine. That play picked up ten the play before. So Peterson's yard per carry average is smoking. He'll get it again. His fourth carry of the drive. And you know what's beautiful about this? It doesn't matter. The Bears have decided they're going to run the football. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. An eight guy will come in here, and they don't care. End up having eight in the box, and Chicago said, it doesn't matter. We're going to run it anyway, because that's what we need to do to stay in this football game. And that's his fourth carry for 27 yards, and they should, because they are very big up front, way bigger than Seattle. Absolutely, and consider the fact, too, that the Bears have already given up three sacks. Passing game needs some pressure taken off. First and ten, and that's what the run game will do for you. That's Des White. A quick flip to the outside. He's covered by Trufant. Accurate, and that's showing up. Second down and four. Play action and roll. The throw is complete to David Terrell. He got past the sticks. So the Bears have a nice drive Did going he? here no. as they pick up. No, they're going to bet. They're, they're about a yard short, Ron. Richard in the backfield with Peterson. Peterson, and he has the first down and then some. Adrian Peterson almost broke it. And Peterson is a guy that the Seahawks don't know about, and that could be a dangerous thing. Same play here. Watch the left guard get up inside. Steve Edwards. Peterson just gets right on his hip. North and south takes off. That's where he had that 10 yard run just a couple of runs ago same exact play John Shoup offensive coordinator said it worked we'll do it again and it pays off with a first down he set a college record for consecutive hundred yard rushing games at Georgia Southern with 36 and it still stands 
First and ten, and his drive is still standing. Peterson busting and banging his way inside. Chad Brown, along with Cochran, in on the tackle. He's injured with a foot. They didn't think they could make up for the 5.5 yards of crack, but they were doing it so far. Third and seven. Chandler inside. Des White. And White, I believe, has enough for the first down. A gutsy play by the leading receiver on the team. Bring on Edinger from 35 yards out. The hole. It's good. The kick. Did he push it? Just pushed it inside. And so the Bears do what they have to put together a nice drive, go down the field, and at least get points on the board going here at halftime. I'm and here. Charles I'm here. 15 seconds left. Hasselbeck going inside. Ingram. Oh. And it's intercepted by Mike Brown. What a change of events. Oh. Off the shoulder pad of Bobby Ingram, a short touchdown. And talk about going from elation. No sprinkler here. No, nope, that's what you call going from the penthouse to the outhouse in one play. You'll see Bobby Ingram flash across the back of the end zone. Perfect strike from Hasselbeck. Up in the air. And then Mike Brown comes down with the interception. And Mike Brown's got a flair for the dramatic and the big play. <laughs> yes, he does. That just hit him right in the face mask. And Hasselbeck knew he had him. He, he said, oh, that's a touchdown. Now it's going to go down as an interception. But that's not the big thing. Matt wanted more points. Williams, a gain of 25 yards. What did I say in the open, Ron? The most important element yeah. of this game for the Bears was going to be this guy here, Adrian Peterson, and his ability to run on the ground. And he's averaging about five yards a pop in the first half of that game. And, and it's really allowed the Bears to do what they want to do offensively in terms of finding a couple of open receivers. Just guys have dropped balls. You saw the one tipped up by Desmond Clark that was intercepted. There's been some throwing lanes because of that guy there, Adrian Peterson, and his success. Bling, bling. Well, he lives the game, Ron. He, he lives like a pro. He puts in a lot of film study. He knows what it's all about. Third and 11. They just get the playoff. Here comes the heat. A duck and a nice one-hander by Desmond Clark, the free agent out of Miami. But it won't be anywhere near enough for a first down. Valerio, the right guard for the Bears who left the game on a cart, is back in at right guard. He must have got some good water in there. This is complete to Desmond Clark, and Clark is out across the 30-yard line. Incomplete pass. Third down and nine. Chandler with time. It's complete to Clark. And Clark will be short of the first down. Look at this, a little trickery by the Bears. They go for the fake, and they're going to catch him. And the Bears convert. Brock Forsey, the rookie fullback, lines up in the fullback spot, and they catch the Seattle Seahawks napping. And, Tim, that's what we're talking about. We set it up early with Pete Rodriguez and the special teams coach. Look at him get out of the punter, get up under center. And Maynard, now he's going to get it to Brock Forsey, 44, who's a heck of a back in college at Boise State. And then he just gets over for the first, and Dick Duran knew his team needed that. Hey, why not? We got nothing to lose. He's up front on the offensive line. Smart. Cochran along with John Randall back in the game. Play action. Complete to Terrell. And Terrell is close to a first down. He may have it. Let's see what they spot. He picked up eight. And that one was good enough for a first down. 38 seconds left here in the third quarter. Terrell again. And he'll have another first down. And you know, it all starts with the protection. Yes. First and ten for the Bears. There's the handoff, and they got a couple. Peterson continues to bang his way inside. This will be Edinger from 41 yards out. They better come left. Ooh. 
And it does. He gets a nice draw. And the Bears stay close. How these players work. Someone tells you they don't want you, you want to let them know they made a mistake. Second down and four. Corin Robinson. Fumbles. And Robinson fumbles. It's recovered by Bobby Gray. Now let's see if there's a challenge coming here by Mike Holmgren. Well, there'll be no challenge on this one. This was clearly a fumble from Corin Robinson. And it looks like the rookie Charles Tillman. We don't usually see that type of punch out. First and ten, Chicago. Candler inside. And it's caught by the tight end, Dustin Lyman. And let's go back to that fumble. And here again, watch the punch out as 33 is trailing Corn. Boom, right there, just pushes that football out. And that is a huge play for the Chicago Bears defensively. And this team had only forced four turnovers coming into this football game today, and Corin Robinson knows. Rabi Abdullah in the backfield now for the Bears. Along with Pritchett, that's Lyman in motion. They'll hand it off. Abdullah. And Abdullah is hit by Hamlin, Moore, and a couple others. I'm here, and who knows, a couple more years maybe for Chris Chandler. Third and seven. Throws complete to Bobby Wade, another rookie getting in on the action. That's the fifth round pick out of Arizona. Good player at Arizona and runs a smash route. He comes in motion and watch it go boom, boom. Pop it right back outside. <laughs> and you see Springs. Springs. Yeah, he got caught up in the traffic there. And Chandler again knows right where to go with it. I mean, he knew that there was his primary right there in Bobby Wade, the rookie. This is a big third down and 11 for the Bears. The pressure throws wide open. And that's Gage, another rookie, comes up big. 20 yards in the reception and a first down as the Bears move deep into Seattle territory. And again, back to the middle of the field. This is him one-on-one -on -one coverage with Sean Springs. He's going to run a deep square in. And what a laser from Chandler. And that was on Sean Springs, who's been to some Pro Bowls. His back had to get some, some spot duty last week with some of the injuries. And again, the square in gets him there. Great throw from that guy, Chris Chandler. And they haven't hesitated to pick on Springs today. Pritchett, he's inside. And this is where Pritchett is better. He runs the ball for some tough yards right down the pipe. And I'd go back at Sean Springs, too. Yeah, but... Pritchett, and Pritchett will score for the Bears. Pritchett from one yard out, and he puts the Bears within two. Now let's see if they go for two. Uh, Chandler was waving the sidelines at first. Good push by that offensive line up front. Mike Gandy, big Steve Edwards getting some push. Low man. And the Bears are one for one, two point conversions on the year. Chandler rolls, looking to throw. Now he's in trouble. He's going to run it in. And Chandler, oh, at 38 man. years old, runs it in. And he took a hit. He took a big hit. And Chandler is slow to get up. Are you kidding me? This reminds me of a few years back. Remember when Bearline did it at Green Bay, running it in? He takes this one himself. He ties this game up in the biggest play of the year for the Chicago Bears. So you can sense his maturity level on the field. You can sense it in meetings when you talk to him. Second down 11, and the Bears call timeout again with a stop. And see